What up everyone, welcome to Buzzy Games. Today, let's learn how to open a door by pressing E. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and create a very, very simple door. I'm going to start off with one part and then just resizing it and things like that. Let me go ahead and change the color to dirt brown and then the material to, let's do wood. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab another part and scale it to the size of the door. And this is going to be my hinge part. So the, the door is going to be the part that's opening, the hinge is going to be in place. And then I'm gonna change the color to black. Sweet, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna name, rename my door part to door and the hinge part to hinge. And then I'm gonna delete these things real quick. You don't need them. Okay, so next up, I'm gonna create a weld constraint from the door to the hinge okay so the door to the hinge not the other way around i'm gonna group this the two parts together and just rename it door so it's a model now inside of our door we're going to go ahead and add a proximity prompt and inside of our door model we're going to add a script so delete that print statement uh, before we actually move on let's go ahead and duplicate the hinge part and then rename that to side and you'll see why in just a second. You don't have to add this if you don't want to, but I like this just so that it's smoother when I open the door. So we're going to define our variables right here. We have our tween surface, which is that smooth animation that we really love. So we're going to go ahead and do some quick math where anytime the door is open, it's going to you know, open the door 90 degrees and then if it's closed, it'll close it in the same position for 90 degrees. We have our tween info, the open and close, so that anytime the door is open, it'll play that smooth animation 90 degrees open and then smooth animation 90 degrees closed. So if we hop into our game and we press E, the door opens and closes. But if you check out, you see how the hinge, you can kind of see it anytime, well, you can obviously see it anytime we open and close the door. And it doesn't look that great, right? So that's where our uh, side part that's why we duplicated the hinge part earlier so that we can just change the transparency of this hinge to one and then we hop into the game look at how smooth it looks now pretty neat right so we added the side part earlier so that you can you see how like this the side part isn't moving it's only the hinge part that's moving but because it's transparent um, it has like this very nice fl opening flow to it when you open and close it and just like that you're done so good job you guys Leave a like and give us a subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Come join our Discord if you have any questions. And as always, stay tuned for the next video and have fun creating. Bye!